well yesterday night we got all the shanks flipped around you can see one side wears out then we can flip them around and the other side still got that sharp point but what you have to do is you have to replace the bolts and knots because of the bolts and nuts are what makes the shanks fall off as you can see the heads of the bolt get wore down and uh, at some point the heads uh, the bolt gets so small it just makes the shank fall right off the only thing holding the shank on is the head of this bolt and that knot put them as tight as we can go and uh yeah once both sides of the shanks get wore out we will replace them obviously but you can get i don't know how many acres you can do with one side of the shank or a whole shank but anyway last year uh this uh cultivator attachment i guess leveler uh just makes the field is a little bit smoother it was facing up last year this whole bracket was upside down and uh, dad had it on like that because it would get plugging up with corn stalks and whatnot last year we did a lot of corn stalks and i wanted it flipped down so on a rainy day when i got rained out of chisel plow and i decided to flip back down it didn't get plugged up it actually worked out fairly well so i guess we'll keep doing that fall we uh are planning on just disking a lot of corn stalks instead of chiseling them because disking chiseling them didn't make as much of a difference but as far as wheat ground we're going to chisel most of ours this right here is a sunflower um nine shank chisel plow the model number i don't know the model number i don't know it's we're pulling it with our 8330 john deere don't know the horsepower but she packs a punch it pulls it nice i mean we could pull it with any of our tractors 8300 but uh dad's out checking soybeans right now so uh the last field for our neighbors i found it's only 23 acres so we can knock it out fairly quick but we're just seeing if we got we got rain and snow yesterday a little bit so we're just seeing if we can hop into it today or not but he'll be back in a minute I hope this picture turns out because I just walked through hell to get to it. I'm gonna give you guys the best advice there is. Thorns are sharp. Someone got my combine all dirty. Wonder who that was. I'm gonna go finish up the beans for the neighbor today. Still haven't got that first video up. Of course, you'll see that before this one, obviously. But it's going to be like, for a time frame, it's going to be like three days behind. It's election day today. It's Tuesday. Um, combine had like three or four bars of fuel in it. And this tank's about empty. Both these tanks are about empty. But So I'm just going to put in about 30 gallons because there's not that much left out there. Yesterday night, it got just dark and they started cutting tough on the cutter bar. They were thrashing fine, but the plants are just dry themselves. The beans are on about 14 and a half, 14 and a half moisture wise. So uh, we'll get to it after we get filled up. Got the truck on tarps and got the head hooked up. I'm gonna start combining some beans. I'm using my form of GPS. It's for your tracks. Because uh, they have GPS that can never let you down. Great as hell.
rocket scientist, but it's safe to say I think it's full. Overweight? Never heard of her.